it's hot out here and the season's coming to a wrap. Yeah. We only have a, a couple more weeks of cutting. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I'm going to miss it. Hey guys, it's Ben. Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. How's it going? Happy Saturday to you. Man, what a week. It was 107 degrees yesterday, you guys. Anyways, guys, we're out here at a beautiful property. One of our favorites. It's one of our favorites. One of our many favorites. It's the what does this lady usually make for us every once in a while? I think we told him about that, how she makes us apple crisps. Yeah, we told him, we already told YouTube about that. Yeah. It's hot out here and the season's coming to a wrap. Yeah. We only have a, a couple more weeks of cutting. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I'm going to miss it. It is sad. Yeah. But hopefully, hopefully we can keep it going as long as possible. Yeah. You know? But for winter, we're probably going to have to just get, get full. other full-time jobs yeah i guess yeah just to supplement that income yeah but and next summer oh uh, also this fall we're planning on going to that horticulture class at osu okc yeah that'll so be cool. to get we'll our be, spraying license exactly yeah. next summer is going to be a full-time <clears throat> a full-time summer yeah well yeah. we're going to be going full-time from next summer forward yeah i'm excited i'm yeah, excited that, about that as well Anyways, guys, stay tuned. We've got more coming. Hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. All right, guys, peace. Peace. Uh, thank God we only had one big one to do. Uh, and that took us into the weekend. Today's Saturday. Uh, we got nothing to mow today. Uh, but that doesn't mean we got no work. You may ask, uh, Ben, if you got no work today, I noticed the trailer's not hooked up. You're definitely not mowing. What the heck are you doing out in your truck today with your uniform on? Well, just because we got no mowing to do today doesn't mean we got no work to do today. Uh, we got the weekend off from mowing, but we're all, well, we're working. We're working today. Uh, this morning, I had to go up uh, and do an estimate. Well, I didn't have to. I got a call yesterday from a guy that said, hey, uh, my guy uh, needs to be replaced. Could you come up and give me an estimate? I told him I'd be happy to do so. We went up there this morning and gave him the estimate. and We got the job to make a long story short. Uh, those of you that know me know that that's not possible. I don't make long stories short. Uh, I make short stories long and I make longer stories even longer. So I apologize for that. It's just the way I am and I, I don't know. I apologize. I wish I could change, but I can't. Anyway, so we went up and we did the estimate. And we got the job. Uh, ben, why are people calling you so late in the season for lawn care? Every year it's the same thing, guys. Some guys drop off. Yesterday was 107. It's been hot uh, a little bit this week, but this year overall hasn't been steaming hot. So I can't really say that it's the weather that's making people uh, kind of stop doing their jobs and stop doing their jobs well, I should say. I don't know what it is. It might, it might be burnout or fatigue. Uh, but anyway, the guy said, hey man, uh, my last guy, his wife got cancer. Uh, and he ended up selling the lawn mowing company to his brother. Uh, and his brother did good for the first week or two. Uh, and then I noticed that it start, started to go downhill after that. Uh, he was starting to cut corners, right? He wouldn't get the uh, edging done every time. He wouldn't maybe trim some areas every time. He's just cutting corners to save time. Uh, and you know, the thing with the the stuff we got going on in the world right now, I can't say the name because YouTube doesn't like it. Uh, with all the stuff that's going on in the world right now, people are staying at home and working from home. So because they're doing that, when you show up to mow their lawn, they're watching you. Yeah. They're watching you. They see what time they that you get there and they see what time that you leave. Yeah. And he was saying that the guy, it, the first, the first, when he first took it over, it'd take him about an hour and a half uh, by himself to get it all done, two hours at the most. He said by the time he fired him, which was, I guess, last week, because it didn't look too terrible, uh, by the time he fired him, the guy was spending uh, less than an hour on his property. So that'll tell you something. Uh, and you can see the results are easily, uh, that's the thing about our job, guys. 
is the satisfaction you get. Uh, you know, it's instant gratification. You go ahead and cut that lawn and make it look a hundred thousand times better. You can see it immediately. Uh, but the problem with that is you can also see when things aren't getting done. And that's what happened with this guy. So we picked up this property we got the bed and we start Monday. So hopefully we'll have some video footage of this property. It's kind of a fun one uh, for you on Wednesday. Just because uh, we're not cutting today doesn't mean we're not working. We did that uh, estimate, but that's not the end of the work. Uh, our work's not done yet. Uh, we've got shop time to do today, guys. I've got a pile of blades that need sharpening. Uh, I've got two mowers that need oil changes. What else? We got all kinds of stuff to do. Uh, the shop is a mess, it's all dirty. Oh, and I have to uh, clean the steel equipment uh, that steel let me borrow. I have to clean it and give it back. Uh, Man, I don't want to give it back. I was supposed to give it back last week, but uh, I don't know. My representative had to go out of town on vacation or something, so I got to keep it for an extra week. We're gonna go do the Fridge Fame. Finally got something for the Fridge Fame, right? Uh, and we're gonna answer a couple more of your questions because we got a lot of questions and they're all good questions. We wanna answer them all. So we'll answer a couple of them tonight. So here we go, guys. I did want to say one thing uh, before we hit the shop, because we're here now, uh, and this is for JT. You're going to find out how much I bid this property for, and you're going to say, Dad, you underbid the property. And I know I underbid the property. Uh, and, and I did it on purpose. This is a neighborhood that we want to get into. Uh, all these properties are between uh, two and three acres. Uh, and these properties are located up next to our, well, not next to it, but near our horse farm. So it's it's those kind of clients, those kind of uh, properties that we're gonna be dealing with in this neighborhood. Uh, the thing is, is we don't have, uh, we weren't able to get our toe in this neighborhood uh, yet. Uh, this is our first chance at it. So I bid it a little bit low and we're gonna do a great job on this property for the rest of the year. And hopefully some of the, that guy's neighbors are gonna say, hey, who does your lawn? How much do you charge? Or how much do you pay your guy? And when he tells them, I'm hoping I get some phone calls from that neighborhood. Uh, his neighbors aren't gonna get the deal that he got, and I'll explain to them why that I underbid his property, but I have to live up to my word. Uh, and we're happy to do it for that price, but we can't do it for that price for everybody. Uh, that normally works, people understand that, and they're willing to pay a little extra for a quality job. If they know that you're quality and you're dependable, they're willing to pay more. If you show up every day or, I'm sorry, if you show up every time uh, the same day of the week uh, or you communicate with them to say, hey, I can't make it on our normal day, I'm gonna be a day late, uh, but I'll be there. Communication is key. And when you, I hate saying that, uh, but the thing is, is when you establish that you're reliable and dependable, those are the biggest, those are the biggest things besides quality. Do a great job, be dependable and be reliable, you'll own the neighborhood. So we're in there cheap right now on our first house. But I'm thinking that we could probably pick up three or four others in that, just in that little neighborhood right there. So hmm, that's the thought process anyway. It worked this year, it should work next year. seen the video yet uh, you're in it though uh, but today I was talking about uh, quality work doing quality work and uh, providing reliable service 
gets. On well, a steady very, basis. Very Quality important. work. That's, that's what we're all about. And I also talk about communication, which I always talk about, because that's yes. probably one of the most important things in this business is the communication part. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't have good communication skills, you need to develop it, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do 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 it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Gin and tonic. Do it. Think of one some dinkle get to me, huh? Come on, do it. Lay it on right here. Do it. Do it. Johnny Red knee, okay? okay? Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. All right. Do it. <laughs> do it. Just do it. Just Star do it. Do hey, it. Starsky and Hutch, Dad. Uh, do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> so I went up and did an estimate today. How'd that go? At that place right down the road from the horse farm in a different neighborhood. And it went good. And we got it. It's all in the video. If you want to find out if we got it or not, you're going to have to watch the video. We got some more questions uh, for the bucket. Uh, some more name suggestions, I should say. And we got more questions. The questions we already threw in there. And the new name suggestions, uh, one's from Texas Veteran Power Outdoors, Bucket of Obedience. What do you think of that? Bucket of Obedience. All right. I like the... I like There's a lot of the names. Money Making Mike G submitted his question, and he says the Folgers Fax Bucket. Folgers <laughs> Fax Bucket. Folgers Fax Bucket. It's kind of a tongue twister. I mean, okay. yeah. They're not really facts coming from us. Well, and then yeah. Bush Green. More like a, a bucket of opinions. Mm -hmm. Bush Green from Canada uh, submitted his recommendation for the name, and it's Q and Acme. I like, I like that. that. Mm. Kind of like cool. question and answer, but mm. Q and Acme. Q and A, yeah. Q and Acme. Yeah. That's cool. pretty clever, I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then K Dub said, Acme a question. <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> or we could change it slightly to the Acme a question bucket. Yeah. That's pretty cool too. Yeah, that is cool. So, but we're not going to be the ones to decide uh, on the name of the bucket. We're going to put them on a, like a uh, playoff bracket and you guys are going to vote on it. And the first vote is coming up this Wednesday. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. we, we're, taking, uh, we're taking names for the bucket up to midnight Central Standard Time uh, Tuesday evening. And then after that, uh, I'm going to just randomly put them up on a bracket and they're going to go head to head and we're going to... We're gonna vote on it as a community. I like I like the Acme question. Well, don't try to influence the voters. <laughs> let them let them decide. Yes. We're not influencing you guys. You guys vote for whatever you want to vote for. There's a lot of good ideas. And we got Fridge of Fame mail. Yay! We've got yes. Fridge of Fame. Finally, <laughs> finally Fridge of Fame mail. Thank you so much. It is from. RJ's Lawn Maintenance. RJ's Lawn Maintenance. Giberville, Mississippi, I which is really mm -hmm. close to Alexi. Yes. That's where we went through tech school. Yeah. The first time. Well, I went through tech school two times. <laughs> two times. Yeah. Well, she just jumped up on my lap. That's because good dad slammed it. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't yeah. like me being violent like that. <laughs> it's okay now. So let's read the next. Okay. <clears throat> It says, Acme Mowing, I enjoyed seeing your post on Instagram of your projects and your work. Keep up the hard work. Please tag us on Instagram. Good luck in 2020, says RJ's Lawn Maintenance. And we have a sticker. There's the sticker. That's a nice sticker. I like the orange with the green. That's a, that's a unique combination. I like that. RJ's Lawn and Maintenance. Check them out on Instagram. Yes. And we are going to let Lex do the fridge. Oh, okay. Fame. RJ's Lawn Maintenance. Lawn Maintenance. RJ's Lawn Maintenance. You're going yes. up on the fridge of fame. Where should you go? Amongst mm -hmm. such notables as Tony's Lawn Care. Maggie wants to do it with me. <laughs> Dandy Lawn mm -hmm. Maintenance. Rockbridge. Goof like a tooth. Lawn Care. Right there. Valley's Lawn Care. Dirty Lawn Thug. Sheriff Buford T. Cletus. She's just loving on me yeah. today. And you're going right underneath. Yeah. Get out of the way, Maggie. Yeah. Rolling Green Lawn Care, LLC. Right next to Texas Veteran Lawn Service. 
also next to Fleuru Home and Garden Center for go Golden Gar Garden Care, mm -hmm. rather. Thank you so much. And there's much. Bailey's Landscape Maintenance LLC. I just saw a comment hey. from him. Did you? Yep. What did he say? Oh, wait. Hold on before okay. that. RJ's Lawn Maintenance. Welcome to the Fridge of Fame. Yes. Welcome to the Fridge of Fame, RJ's Lawn Welcome to the Fridge of Fame. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> we're, we're really happy to have you up there. Yes, we Thanks are. for finally sending me your sick. <laughs> and uh, do you guys have anything uh, that you'd like to talk about to YouTube today? This is, I wanted to introduce you guys to you my roommate, Our Jackson. Hi, Hi Jackson. It's Our nice roommate. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> All right. Anything from you, get from you, JT? Nothing from me. Anything from you, KH? We have questions. Oh, oh we have questions. almost forgot. I All didn't. Right. Let's pull one. Stay classy, Acme. Who should pull one? So let's, pull, pull let's, one? Get, let's pull two. Let's Jackson. get Jackson to pull one. He can, you can just read it and we'll answer it. Okay. Because his question's for us. All right. <clears throat> okay, who's it from? All right, from John's Daily Hustle. If you could go back and start any other business instead of lawn care and landscaping, what would you start? What, what would you start? Oh. Um, I don't know, that's a hard question. I think, uh, Anything. Some other kind of maybe Something. I think I would start because I've always like wanted to do because I like doing okay. First, I started out doing flower gardens. I liked doing those, so I think I would start maybe like a gardening thing, like a, a business just for gardening or something. Pretty like, related to landscape, but that's yeah. your interest, right? Yeah. What would you do, JD? Um. Um. I don't Any don't kind know. of work, maybe. Like probably a, probably a roofing company. Yeah. That's tough work. Because it pays really well. It does pay well. As long as you're the boss, you're not going to break your body. But if you're up there on that roof, you're going to hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I'd be the boss. Yeah, that's right. Well, if you're starting your business, you're the boss. So exactly. That's good. KH, how about you? I've always kind of wanted to start a little pub. Yeah. You know. Family pub. Yeah. Family yeah. pub called Harrington's. Yep. Yeah. That would be that'd so be awesome. Pretty cool. That'd be cool. That's always been a that's always been a distant dream of mine. But yeah. realistically, for yeah. me, I think uh, if I knew then what I know now, I probably would have gotten into the power washing truck business when yeah. it first took off. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. Because those guys are making bank. Power washing truck? They're making a lot of money. What do you mean power washing like semi trucks? Yeah, they power wash the yeah. trailers, mm -hmm. right? Oh, wow. wow. They do that. They have a place like that up in uh, North Dakota they, and South Dakota. They're all over the place. I know they're all over the I place. I think that, right? Jackson, what do you think? <laughs> what would you start? Um, Maybe a business? Uh, I didn't. I had. I didn't prepare at all. It's okay. <laughs> Nobody prepares Nobody for does. Yeah, that's we didn't what, prepare either. That's it's the okay. beauty you of this that. question. Um, Bucket. I've always been into computers, so I might try computer programming or something. That, yeah. That'd be yeah, that'd be cool. cool. That'd be cool. Be hard. So, yeah. well, there you go. Uh, well, you know what? Speaking of that, computers, Ben here with Acme Mowing has built so many gaming computers. It's, it's kind of a side, it's kind of a um, side, side hustle. He's very good at it. <laughs> it's, and, and they're on demand only. It's at request only. I don't advertise. Right. So. Anyway. All right, we have one more question. One more question. So who's gonna Who's gonna ask this one? You are. I am. Okay. No. Dad's gonna answer it, or I'll I'll ask it, and you can answer it. You guys answer it. Okay. All right. That's an easy one. The question is, where in the world did you get your OU seat? And okay. that's the OU seat on the uh, Laser Z. Um. We got it at Lynx Lawn Equipment we from did. our uh, dealer, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure that he could have got us a special order for any of those college seats. Yeah, Xmark ran a as requested. Xmark ran a, uh, a promotion a couple of years back when we bought for, our mower, the and they had the college teams. So they're all over the United States. The Xmarks with the college teams mm -hmm. on. But when we went in to buy that Xmark, I saw that chair sitting there on the side and I just had to have it 
it was part of the deal that we made. It's yeah, like, we, you put that on there, we'll buy it today. Yep. I so, remember making that deal. <laughs> we saw the seat. We were already almost about to buy the mower and buy it as is anyways. Yeah. But we saw the seat and we were like, hey, Brian, if you'll throw that in, we'll buy it today. Brian, I'm sorry we were going to buy it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're just finding out now. <laughs> Maybe use that to your advantage next time we negotiate on a mower. Uh, he probably already knew. Anyway, knew guys. That was a good negotiation <laughs> That's for him, though. Love each other. Make, Make lots, lots of money. money. Peace. 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 See you on Wednesday. Bye, Later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>